other folks. This is a story about an instrument malfunction, which happens to us all occasionally at gigs. Unfortunately, in this particular instance, it was at a salubrious venue in front of a not insignificant amount of people. Stay tuned. <laughs> So this one time, I'm playing at the Barrowlands in Glasgow, which is quite a famous venue. I did a whole video on it with a Joyrider's performance from there, which is linked up there. Now, this story actually comes from that performance. This is October 1992, and we are playing with Seattle grunge legends, Mudhoney, famous for Touch Me I'm Sick, and famous for being friends Nirvana. So this gig was filmed, the Joyriders part was filmed. We were just a sport band, so we were on we were on first doors opened at seven. And the Banalands is an all standing venue. So people get in pretty quick so they can get down the front to see their heroes and to see the Joyriders perhaps. So we kick off half past seven, something like that. And the place is maybe sort of half foolish. So about a thousand people or something like that there, maybe just slightly less than that. It starts filling up pretty quick, so we have 30 minutes to play. And as an aside, I remember we got paid £50. We got paid £50 for doing this gig, because when you do these gigs, you're really doing it just for for people to see. I mean, we sold, sold a lot of merchandise and stuff like that, but that's as an aside. So we go on, and it's, the set's going quite well. The um, place starts filling up, a thousand people or something like that, and then... 15 minutes and 30 seconds into the gig, this starts. You can see our bass player looking back at his amp, looking a bit confused about matters. Now, I, I'm not naming any names here, I'm protecting the innocent. This chap is one of my greatest friends, we've been friends for three decades, but uh, his bass seemed to be playing up a bit here. We initially thought it was perhaps his amplifier. So I will keep the video running so you can see this in real time. That's me playing an awful guitar solo. In fact, we'll fast forward, that's enough of me playing that guitar solo. There's a bass player talking to a singer. Summons up, lads, summons up. That's Rody number one, that's Rab, my cousin Rab. Good chap, Rab. So at this point, we're on stage in front of about a thousand people and uh, it's all going all the way wrong. So our singer starts making some some small talk to a thousand people. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. <sighs> so the bass is not working. There's no bass. So this is That's Rody number two, Herbie, he's trying to figure out what's happening as well. So we are standing in front of a stage with everybody just looking at us going, What's happening? Why aren't these guys playing? Surely they only have 30 minutes to make a noise. It was like standing on stage and your belt has failed and your trousers have fallen down and there's nothing you can do. That's what it's like. So if you think this is excruciating watching the video, could you imagine being on stage when this is happening? Oh, I think we've got it fixed. Just in case our singer Murdo decides to do a cover song just to keep the kids entertained. I think this is maybe a Beach Boys song. Oh, some high pitched whining. Somebody's plugging things in, it's not working. Now, as you can imagine, this is a gig with Mud Honey, so it's all grunge rock fans here. And then we start doing this. It's quite spectacular, really. Eh? I 
Could you imagine if you'd paid money to go and to go and watch this sort of thing? Luckily, I'm not in the video at this point, so I think I had my head in my hands. I was maybe maybe drinking a few beers just to take the edge off the situation. Lord, you can imagine where it goes from here. He fixes the cable. So at least the drummer joined in with Murdo. This is bad, eh? This is bad. You've paid money to come and see two hours of grunge rock and you get you get hit with a, a half arse band with only two members playing the Beach Boys song. The bass is still broken by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh, there's Herbie, he run off the other way. Oh, he, even Murdo's given up. I mean, luckily the camera's not facing the audience. You probably see people, you know, making rude gestures and openly or open mouthed swearing words. It's still going on. I mean, this goes on for five minutes. Five minutes of a broken bass in front of a thousand people. Even more high pitched noise. Oh, I think we're back at finally. I think we're finally back in action. Yeah, the bass, the bass is working. The bass is working. Let's all try and start on the right note, lads. And we're back in. We're back into it. We're back into full flow live. The joy of us live of the Barrowlands, October 1992. Luckily, at this point, with a working bass. So that was this one time I was playing the Barrowlands with the joy of us and we had a big bass disaster. Now, it was perhaps not the most exciting video, but could you imagine being in that situation? <laughs> You're standing on stage and uh, nothing's working. Well, most things are working apart from the bass, but it's a bass-led type of music, so we couldn't, uh, we couldn't do anything. Just stood there for five minutes. Five, five minutes. Stood there for five minutes. Well, we tried to fix it and then we had to drop a song from our set because we only had 30 minutes. So let that be a lesson, folks. Always check that your bass is working before a gig. More importantly, perhaps, take a spare bass with you. Thank you for tuning in, folks. I do appreciate it. Cheers for now.